brand new 2021 Yukon Denali XL Ultimate Package. This is GMC's latest and greatest. And today, I'm gonna give you a tour on my brand new satin steel metallic Yukon Denali XL. Okay, so first things first, I wanna thank all my family and all my friends on Instagram for all the beautiful comments, for all the likes on my post when I first got my truck. Thank you guys, God bless you guys for all the nice, kind words. It means a lot, it really does. We are in my brand new 2021 Yukon Denali, and there's a lot to show you guys, there's a lot to talk about. From what I've been told, it's got pretty much every option except the light up logo on the front, which, don't really care for that to be honest the truck has everything the air ride suspension the truck has the sliding center console the truck has i keep saying truck is this considered a truck suv i haven't i'm i'm not sure <laughs> it's even got wireless apple carplay and android auto so you just put your phone down on the wireless charging pad and the phone starts charging and it connects directly to your radio, all your text messages, all your phone calls, all your navigation, even Google Maps, which surprised me. I thought I was gonna have to use Apple Maps for sure, but nope, Google Maps works just fine. You could even change the wallpaper on the radio. Freaking sick, I love it. It's freaking amazing. As you guys can see, I have this black and brown two-tone interior. For the most part, the seats, the steering wheel, everything in the car, the ceiling is all black except for the dash and the upper part of the doors. It's got like a dark brown, almost burgundy-ish color. I, I personally really like the way it looks. I think it looks amazing. It looks good to have something different than just all black in the car because that's what I'm used to. Previous car, my 2011 Escalade, I had the black interior and then the white ceiling or the beige ceiling, whatever color it was, cream ceiling. I like the black ceiling because it won't get as dirty and the brown looks super nice. I'm a fan. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I personally like it, so that's a plus for me. Another thing we have in the car is the rear entertainment system. I could literally plug in my PlayStation 4, the kids' Nintendo Switch, a DVD player, like anything you want, we could plug it in the back seat right now. You could either put one HDMI to appear on both TVs, or you could have separate displays for two different HDMI systems. You could even type in a destination and it'll come up in the front display. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and lie, you guys. I just got the truck, so there's a lot of features that I don't even know how to activate or use yet. For example, on the side of the steering wheel, there is a four-wheel drive selector. You could put the car in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, raise it, lower it. There's a lot of stuff that I have no idea how to use. I'm going to the dealer today. I'm gonna to be learning every piece of this truck in and out but i know that there's a lot of features on this truck i'm just gonna share with you guys the stuff that i'm familiar with already so we have this beautiful super long sunroof what do you call this sunroof moonroof i have no idea but it's freaking legit you press this one button and the whole thing opens it gives everybody in the truck a look outside through the roof and it's freaking beautiful Obviously, we have the backup cameras, but what I didn't know until I sat in it was that this truck has a top view of the car. It shows you the side views. It shows you the tire views. It also shows you the front view. So you could see pretty much anything you want while you're driving. There is a time delay if you're not like parking, if you're not in a parking lot. It only stays on for a few seconds if you're like on the freeway, for example. But the fact that it allows you to see the whole exterior of the car is a freaking plus. I don't know what vehicle first started having that. This is my first vehicle with that option and I freaking love it. Pulling into parking spaces, parallel parking now is going to be a breeze. Usually with trucks this big, you would think it would be a lot harder, but with those cameras, I don't think it's going to be an issue. First parallel parking with the new truck. What do you guys think? 
First try. Obviously we have the third row seats. The third row seat can manually be put up or down, or if you wanted, you press a button up here and the seats go up and down automatically. Speaking of third row seats, this is the third row seat right now. I am all the way in the back of the truck. I'll show you guys. I am all the way in the third row seat right now. And I'm actually very comfortable. Like if I was going with someone that had a similar truck to this, and let's say we were going to uh, Key West on a fishing trip. And if I had to sit all the way in the back, I honestly wouldn't mind it. I have a lot of room. I could sit back comfortably. And on the side of me, I have a USB charging port. I could plug my phone in and charge it all the way in the third row seat. That is freaking crazy. You don't have to run a super long wire from the front or say somebody charge my phone. I've seen that plenty of times. People like running a huge wire all the way from the front to the back. Nope. Take my official Apple wire that came with the phone, plug it in right there and I'm charging all the way in the third row seat. And again, I can't stress this enough. I am very comfortable back here. And this seat is pretty, this seat could move even backer and I'll still be just fine. We did a test when we first got the truck and we moved the seat all the way as back as it could go. And I was still comfortable. That is absolutely insane. I guess that's what you get when you get the XL. <laughs> Freaking unbelievable. If you're in the third row seat and you wanna get out and you have nobody to help you, you just press this button, the seat goes down. Then you press this lever and you're good to go. I could get out of this truck easily right now. Now there's one thing that is like super weird about this truck and I didn't think I was gonna get used to it. I kinda am, I guess, uh, but it's super weird. And it's the gear selector. I'm used to having the gear selector in every car I've been in, either behind the steering wheel or in the middle center console. I've never had it near the radio as buttons or levers. This is gonna take some getting used to. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm doing it right but for example when we got in our car after a long day my hand automatically like muscle memory went behind the steering wheel and there's nothing there <laughs> so yeah it's gonna take a little getting used to i personally don't get why they did this to be honest i feel like this was unnecessary they didn't really need to do that but i mean that's their choice this is the way they designed it and uh that's how it's gonna be Day two to this video, and I want to start with the grill on this truck. And I'm not doing a barbecue pit grill this time. I'm really talking about the grill on this truck. The grill on this truck is absolutely massive. To me, the GMC wins on the front end battle. There's no beating the Yukon Denali. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. It was really a fun video to make. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I got plenty more videos featuring this Yukon Denali XL coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Happy New Year, guys. 
It's 2021. Let's be smart. Let's be safe. Peace out. God bless. See you guys next time.